Jake, you are the perfect person for me. You have so many wonderful qualities that I admire. You're easygoing, friendly, funny, patient, hardworking. Jake said to me once, man, people really like to poke fun at me. And I told him that it's because he's such a good sport and such a lovable guy. Everyone that knows you loves you, and it's for a very good reason. I love the life that we've created together and all of the memories we've made over the past seven years. I love that we can goof around and completely be ourselves around each other. I love our tradition of going to see the Cardinals play at a different MLB stadium every year. Don't worry, Dad, I'll always be a Tigers fan first. Uh, Sandra, you, you've never let me settle for being anything but the best. And you, like you always push me to preserve and be happy. Like even if I give up, you're, you're in my corner. You're always positive, caring, will do anything for anyone. Go out of your way to help people. And I gotta thank Tony and Mary Jo for that. This, this girl. <laughs> uh, you've raised a, a, raised a strong, hardworking, kind-hearted daughter. I promise to love and respect forever. Uh, I want to mention how beautiful Sandra looks in her gorgeous dress. She's every mother of the bride's dream. Jay, you did your best. Yeah. You did. <laughs> and you look just as handsome. Thank you for everything that you do for me. Thank you for always giving me a bite of your food when we order takeout when I know there's nothing you'd rather do less. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your Cool Ranch Doritos with me. For those of you that don't know, Jake, uh, this is a very big deal as Jake really loves his Cool Ranch Doritos. And he does inspect the ones that I take to make sure I didn't take any good ones. And if I do, he takes them back and eats them himself. Uh, I, knew, I knew Sandra was the one for me when, I, I don't know if people know, I don't care to go on vacation. I like staying here. I like playing sports with people in the back corner over there. Yeah. And this girl has made me go everywhere, all over the United States. We go see baseball games to her not favorite team, as she's already said. And it's, I can't thank her enough. It's this girl, like, I can't wait to cross off every baseball card with you. Jake, he may now kiss the bride. It's evident that Sandra and Jake have a relationship that is comfortable, easygoing, and very loving. We wish them many happy years together. This is such an exciting time for you. New home, moving in together. And Jake, I bet you're excited for some home-cooked meals from your new wife. And then I just want to say, Jake, welcome to the family. Not that you need a welcome. We already consider you a brother. We're just waiting on you to get an iPhone so you can join the group chat. circle of friends you don't hear Jake's name without hearing Sandra's two people that I can say are truly meant to be together and love each other very much Cody there's no crying in baseball and we're gonna welcome our beautiful bride crew let's make some noise ladies and gentlemen make some noise ladies and gentlemen Mr. and Mrs. Jake and Sandra LeBlanc Congratulations, and may you have a long life together filled with love, laughter, and many children. We've waited 672 days, it says on my paper. So let's party accordingly to that. Cheers!
Hi, Jake. Thank you, Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Thank you, Jake. To be my wife. To be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. Welcome to the family. Tony and Mary Jo, thank you so much for this wonderful event. More importantly, taking Jake off our hands. He's a no-return policy. Seriously, you've grown into a woman with integrity. You are kind, you are respectful. You value your friends and family, and you have learned when to work hard and when to play hard. Today, we play hard. She doesn't want me to say this, but I love singing her name. Sandra. You're beautiful, and I love you forever. Possibly least, you didn't think we'd forget. That's what she said. Michael Scott, too many times. <laughs> Hit it, PJ. Now this is a story all about how Sandra's life got flipped, turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute, so just hang tight. I'll tell you how JP became Sandra's Mr. Right. In Sarnia, Ontario, born and raised with her sisters is where she spent most of her days. Decorating, crafting, Reno's all cool, building up projects with all of her tools. Saw a tall, handsome guy, thought he looked good. They started hanging out in the neighborhood. They went on one little date to the putting green. She said, oh my god, he's the hottest guy I've ever seen. And a baseball trip all over the map. New food, new drinks, new cities, oh snap. If anything, I can say that this was was rare and I thought, yep, it's true, they're the perfect pair. About five years later, he got down on his knee and said to Sandra, Will you please marry me? It's two years later, and we're finally here. Now join us together as we all say cheers. 